Hi, my name is Henny Geldnees and today I'm going to show you guys ICBM working with workspaces. So why? Well, workspaces makes it easy to manage multiple queues without having it all in one view. So I can set up multiple workspaces with different views in them for me to make it easier for me to distinguish between uh, which queue I'm looking at. Well, so if you guys go with me, I'm going to go show you guys in Business Manager how you set this up. Okay, so here we are in Business Manager and um, well, to add a workspace, it's very easy. You're going to click on here on Workspace uh, on the toolbar up on top and can create workspace. So it's going to then ask you what you want to call that workspace. Now you can call it a name that you, the, of the queue that you want to put up in the queue information you want to put up there. That's usually a normal um, process. So let's call ours custom services okay so it's for the customer services group and I can just give it a description you don't have to but if you want to then down here I can choose an icon for that specific queue I know there's not a lot of icons in it but these are the queues that icons that I can set up so I can let's give it a little guy that little red and then click on OK. As soon as you add it, you'll notice now on the bottom of your um, toolbar or your tabs on the side, there's your custom workspace that you just created. It says custom workspace, and it looks very similar to our getting started workspace up there. See, there's no difference. Now, of course, in yeah, I can now go ahead and set up my views uh, that I want to set up for my supervised environment and go through all the views and set up my queues for every I'm just going to click on just a few things just to show you guys um, not specific to whatever and, and I can set up my views in here and once I've got my views set up I'm at, I can go and add agent information and so on and so forth and let's say now I want a second queue, um, workspace I can create a second workspace and call this one just um, I don't know sales and give sales its own little icon, little green guy. Click on OK. Now I have sales done here. And again, 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 of course, I'm going to um, set up sales information views in here and all of that. So now I have my two different work groups, uh, um, workspaces that I can look at different uh, queues in. Now they down at the bottom so let's say I want to bring them up to the top so I go back into workspace and I go to the bottom where it says reorder workspace click on this it's going to show me all the little tabs on the side here and of course now I can get down to mine and I can move it let's say to the top and I want to sell also sales up to the top just underneath that one and click on OK now and notice now my two little work, new workspaces are right on the top of my page so it's easy for me to get to them. Notice also when you're on them it says control 1 and control 2 that means those are hot keys I can use to just get to them. If I go control um, 1 it's just gonna jump to the first one and if I go control 2 it's gonna go and take me to that one so I've got quick keys I can actually use. Okay so let's say I don't want to see this or want to create a different one um, to delete a workspace again you're gonna you have to be on the workspace that you want to delete click like this so you notice this one is selected I'm gonna click on workspace and then I can click on edit or delete workspace <clears throat> once I do that it says are you sure it's asking you this because any views that I've set up within this workspace will now also be gone. Once I delete it, I have to reset them up or recreate them once I create a new workspace. So yes, I'm sure. Bye bye workspace. I can also go into workspaces and edit workspace. So it's going to come back to this environment where I can change it, the icon or rename it or give it some other name. So that is um, how easy it is to add a workspace, delete a workspace, recreate the workspace, um, even rename a workspace. I can actually come up here and say rename the workspace and give it its own name for um, customer, so customer services. So I know that this is customer service I'm looking at. So guys, that's it, um, how to add a workspace, how to rename it. It's a very simple. So stick around for some more Just In Bad Time videos, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.